Hey guys, welcome back to another runner's workout. If you're new here, my name is Alina Kennedy. I'm an Australian trained physiotherapist, runner and personal trainer based in New York City. In today's workout, I'm going to show you some of my favorite hip stretches. Runners always get tight hips. And so if you are one of those runners that struggles with tight hips, these are some of the best exercises that you can do to stretch them out and loosen up your hips in between your runs. You're not going to need any equipment. We're not gonna use a foam roller or a ball or anything like that. It's all body weight stuff that you can do at home just on the ground on your yoga mat. So the first thing I'm going to get you to do is have a lie on your back and we're going to go into a figure four stretch. So this is a really great little glute stretch. Stretch out those muscles through the back of your hips. You're going to lie on your back, cross one ankle over your other knee and then bring that other leg up as far as you can. If you want, you can grab onto your thigh so loosely grab onto that thigh and just let it rest there. And then gently work through your breath and bring that leg in closer to you. You can also get a slightly different stretch by putting one hand onto that knee and opening up your hip even more. So one leg is behind your thigh, the other arm is pushing your knee back. Once you get a good stretch here, you're just going to work through your breath and we're just going to hold it here. Let your body relax into the stretch. If you feel your muscles relaxing, you can go a bit deeper into that stretch. Pull your leg in closer, push your knee further away. Just gonna hold it for another 10 seconds. And then we're going to swap to the other side. Cross your other leg over, bring your leg up, loop your hands through your leg, bring it in as much as you feel comfortable. None of these stretches should be giving you pain. We're just going for that nice stretching feeling, making sure that you can keep breathing through it, relaxing into the stretch. And again, you can grab onto your thigh with one arm, press your knee out with the other arm. Really common for one side to be a bit tighter than the other. So just work with whatever range of movement you have. Again, not going into any pain, making sure that you can breathe and stretch without causing yourself any discomfort. As those muscles loosen up, push yourself further into the stretch. Keep breathing. We're just gonna hold for another 10 seconds here. All right, so that gives your glutes a little bit of a stretch. I'm going to sit up for the next one. I'm going to get you to straighten one leg out Bring your other leg in so you've got your knee bent and we're just going to lean into that straight leg. So you're stretching forward into that straight leg, trying to get the inside of your foot here. If you want, you can bend your knee just to grab that foot and straighten your knee as much as you can. This is going to be a really good hamstring stretch and it's also going to stretch out your back and your glute on that side. Ease into that stretch. Keep working through your breath. If you can't straighten your leg, that is totally fine. Happy for you to have your knee bent um, or even just reaching for your foot as much as you can without grabbing onto it. And that's totally fine. Again, there's no real wrong way to stretch as long as you're feeling it in those muscles and you're not causing yourself any pain. That is the key with stretching. You just want to be loosening up those muscles, giving those muscles a nice stretch, working on your flexibility, making sure you're still breathing comfortably throughout the stretch. The longer you hold it, the more comfortable it should feel and then you can slowly work into the stretch a little bit deeper. 
Then we're going to swap to the other side. So straighten that leg, bend your other leg, and you're going to reach for the inside of your foot as far as you can. Again, if you want, bend your knee, grab onto the inside of your foot and straighten that out as much as you can. Breathe, relax, let your body sink into that stretch. This should feel really nice after a long run or on your days off when you feel like your body just needs a little bit more of a stretch. These are great little exercises to add into your routine. Again, as that starts to feel a little bit more comfortable, sink into it a little bit more, lower your torso, lower your chest down into that knee, reach a little bit further forward. And do 10 more seconds here. Perfect. We're still going to be stretching the inside of our thighs with the next one. I'm going to get you to go into a low squat. We're going to straighten one leg out in this position, stretching through the inside of your leg there. And then we're just going to walk across to the other side, stretching this leg. This is a slightly more dynamic stretch, meaning that we're not holding them in any position for too long, but more so working through the movement in a nice, slow, controlled manner. There's one stretch, and then slowly moving your weight over to the other leg. Good, really sit back into your hips with this one. You don't wanna to be too far forward, really work your way back into your hips. Should be a good stretch through the inside of your thigh, through your groin. And do one more on each side. For the next stretch, we're going to go into a pigeon stretch. So you are going to sit in a long stance with one leg in front, one leg behind. Your front leg is bent in a bit of a 90 degree angle. Your back leg is going to go straight. We're going to start in this position and then slowly rock forward, bring your hips up and around and then come back down. So you're not going to go straight into that deep stretch. We're going to work into it a little bit. Particularly if you have tight hips, you don't want to go straight into that full on deep stretch. Just let your hips ease into it, work into the stretch, just rocking from your side and forward. And again, nothing should be painful. If you are experiencing any pain in your hips from running, rather than just trying to stretch your pain away, it's definitely worth getting it looked at by a physio. Don't ignore the pain. Don't try to just rest and stretch. Make sure you get it looked at because you probably need to be doing some specific rehab exercises, not just general stretching. But these are great if you have aches and pains that are not injuries, but more so just from lots of training, especially if you're running and then you're sitting at a desk um, or being quite sedentary outside of running, your hips will probably get quite tight. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So bend one knee, extend your other leg back. Again, you'll probably find that one side is a little bit better than the other. So start by just rocking into that stretch. 
and then coming out of it. This is my tighter side, so I definitely struggle to get that same range of movement that I do on the other side. Work with the range that you have. You don't have to be exactly symmetrical on both sides. You just want to gently loosen up the range of movement that you have. If you feel comfortable, once you start loosening up and feeling a little bit more flexible, push into that mobility just a little bit more, getting a slightly deeper stretch with each movement. For the last stretch, we're going to go into a deep squat. So you're going to go on your feet, knees are feet distance apart. You're sitting right down into that deep squat. Your elbows are on the inside of your knees and we're just going to shift our weight from one side over to the other side. Keep pressing your knees out with your elbows. This is a really good one to get your hips mobile. Really work on your hip flexibility. Make sure that your chest is up. Don't wanna be curling in, so chest up, knees out. If you have any kind of knee pain doing this one, just skip it. There shouldn't be any pain, just like with all of the other stretches. One more on each side. And there you have it. That is some of my favorite hip stretches for runners. That should really help to loosen up those tight hips and help you prevent injuries. Like I said though, if you have any pain, any injuries, don't just stretch. Make sure you get it checked out by a physio. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.